Buzzing on social media, it's MLB opening day, and we could all use a little Monday motivation. Hello, I'm Emily Foster, and this is the 406. Here's what's happening across the state of Montana. A Hardin couple was killed in a one-car rollover south of Hardin. Authorities say Lonnie and Lucille Hill were traveling on South Frontage Road when the driver lost control of the car and it rolled. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. A car crashed into the Crazy Mountain Museum in Big Timber after a South Dakota couple mistook the building for a drive through restaurant. Authorities say the female driver was not intoxicated, but the male passenger was. No injuries were caused by the accident, but the museum suffered major structural damage. A 46-year-old California man with a lengthy criminal record has been sentenced to 100 years in prison in a Montana drug case. Authorities found more than 44 grams of meth, 47 grams of marijuana, and morphine in Matthew David Sherman's hotel room in October 2013. Democrat Jesse Laslovich announced he's running to succeed state auditor Monica Lindy next year. Laslovich, age 34, has worked the last five years as chief counsel for Lindy. The only other announced candidate is former state representative Champ Edmonds. Montana Red Cross suggests we start preparing for wildfire season now to protect ourselves and our homes. They say to make an evacuation plan, download the Red Cross Wildfire app, and create a 200-foot survivable space around your home by removing debris, cutting grass, and thinning trees. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to our The 406 Video YouTube channel and leave us a comment. Have a great evening.